Doctor Who Storm Warning Memoirs of an Edwardian Adventuress by Charlotte E. Pollard Chapter 1 Candy floss clouds scattered as the mighty dirigible soared into the black night sky. Raise your glasses, gentlemen. I give you the R101. The R101. Ah, Frailing, over here, man, over here. Maybe they wouldn't be singing our praises, Lord Tamworth, if they knew that this ship hadn't completed its trial. Shh, shh, shh. Not having this, not again. Safe as houses. On paper, sir, on paper. Incredible. A time ship crashing. And again. And again. I watched as the full moon shimmered into view, casting silver rays about the cabin when... Oh no, Vortisors swarming to pick over the debris. Get away from there, you vultures! Leave that wreck in peace! I need you, Frailing. The Prime Minister needs you. Your king and your country need you to be stout, dependable and strong. It's just like I say, if I remember my Earth history correctly, the R-101 airship took to the skies for her maiden voyage to India early in October 1930. Yes, and? And crashed in flames in France during a storm in the early hours of the next morning, killing everyone aboard. What the devil? Oh! Oh! By something. Never mind that now, Failing. Look what that silly arse has done to me best mess trousers. Oh, look, I'm really very sorry. I couldn't. I mean, I've. Uh... Whoops. Now, who exactly are you, and just how do you come to be aboard my airship? Is that the greetings over with? <laughs> I'm the doctor, by the way. Oh, I'm Charlotte. Charlotte Pollard. Charlie to my friends. But it might be worth keeping an eye on that one as our little adventure progresses. They're breaking through. They're. God speed you on your way, airship R101, and God bless your passengers, the true masters of the air. <laughs> <laughs>